Hey guys, Robert Sanchez here. Welcome back to the channel. So, I just made the journey to the great state of Oklahoma and bought a new bass boat. It's not brand new, it's 2019, but it's brand new to me. So today, we're putting it on the water for the first time. So it's the Tracker Pro 170. Nothing fancy, but it does good for me. get it on the water and uh, I'll give you a better tour. Alright guys, welcome to Trinidad Lake. We just got the boat launched and now we're going to start a little tour of the boat for you on the water. So here's the front deck, obviously. Got the Minn Kota Edge up in the front. Good trolling motor. As you can see, uh, that trolling motor's been a little bit abused. That is something that I'm gonna be upgrading uh, sooner or later. There's gonna be a lot of upgrades on this boat. I'm gonna put a new fish finder up here in the front. New fish finder over here at the steering column. Uh, a lot of upgrades that I want to do to it that it didn't already come with but uh, here's what we got to work with for now it originally had the bass chairs up here on the deck front and back I took them off because I don't use them so uh, yeah let's dive into all the storage on this boat up here in the front we got my tackle storage see how we got all that organized Jump one back, and we got the live well. Cooling system in there. Got the aerator in there. Of course, it's a necessity to have a cooler on your boat. Got the little cheapo Ozark trail. So next up, we got the rod storage. Holds quite a few rods. I don't have near as many in, in there as I did. It'll fit a rod up to seven foot six inches. Um, or actually it'll probably fit a little bit bigger than that. Let's just say that that's the biggest rod that I have in there currently. It's my swim bait rod. So then we jump onto the back. We got more storage back here. Currently I just have life vest, a couple bags in there, rain jacket. Unfortunately, there's nowhere big enough on this boat to put the net. So I just have it folded up and kind of tucked in back there a little bit. Holds it perfectly fine. And it's easy access whenever I need to net a big fish. So we jump underneath. Got a little bit more storage in the bottom here. Got my rulers, little floaty, rope. Got the tournament bag. We're ready to go. We're ready to do some fishing. Alrighty, she opened up pretty good. Had her to about 31 there. For what I'm gonna use it for, I like it. It's gonna be a good little boat. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing in this cove and uh, try to make a second video out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this boat. I hope if uh, you're looking for this boat, looking into buying this boat, I hope this video helped you out a little bit with your decision. 
Alrighty guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.